Hey everyone, so I just finished making this really cool x-ray mood light. Stick around if you want to see how I built it. Okay, so about 15, 14 years ago, I had a pretty bad ski accident, but my head x-rayed, and I was actually lucky enough to be able to keep the x-ray afterwards. Plan is, I'm going to wrap this in acrylic on each side. Then I've got some plastic edging stuff that we're going to put around that. We've also got this stuff. This is just like an L channel, um, like extruded plastic. We're going to use that to give it a bit of depth. And then in basically like a cavity in the back of it, the plan is to put LED strips around all four sides and make this thing glow. So got two pieces of acrylic here. I have these custom cut to size. First off, what I'm going to do is actually remove the plastic cover that comes on this stuff. Sweet. Now, the x-ray, go in the middle of these. There's a lot of static going on there. Now I have, well, more or less, a solid x-ray. It's not going to be flimsy, can't get dented by it. it. Next up, all channel stuff. We're going to be putting this along the edge and then we can use this upright piece to attach the LED strip to. So I need to make a few cuts on this basically. Uh, also, another piece that I'm not actually showing you guys yet. This stuff, so this is like a rubber extruded uh, like U-channel. I went five millimeters because both the acrylic sheets are two millimeters each. The x-ray is like paper, so nothing really. And then the L-channel is about one millimeter. So that should be a very snug fit to get everything together. I'm hoping by using this and it being rubber, it will be strong enough to hold everything together by itself and I won't have to use glue. That means I can also disassemble it. If I need to get bits of plastic out, I can do that. Also maintenance if it needs any maintenance. But yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully snug enough fit that things just stay together completely by themselves. Next step, we can move this out of the way and we can start putting some L channel. Next step is to bring the x-ray back. So now we can take our rubber U-channel and I want to start on this side here where there isn't a break in the plastic so that when this goes along, there won't be a break in the rubber and that'll basically strengthen this point where there is a break in the plastic. Okay, so before we actually go sticking things together, I want to cut this, uh, well not cut, we're not going to cut this because I'll probably break it. I want to pry this thing apart. That's it. I was expecting more. That probably will fit perfectly in the uh, thing here. I'm thinking with this, I may end up desoldering this uh, barrel jack. Just because if I lay that flat, it's actually like thicker than the space we've got back here. Not entirely decided on that yet. Uh, what I know I do want to do though is first off desolder the actual connecting wire. Because uh, we're not going to be using this, we're going to be soldering directly to the traces. Um, then we've actually got the IR receiver. I'm thinking I'm probably going to desolder this as well. Um, I'm definitely going to desolder this because I've just snapped it by accident. So we're going to take those out and basically connect the IR LED directly to the PCB. Now we need basically a hole in this plastic for the actual 
jack to point through. Uh, we need to take this down, and we need to actually connect these wires, which is probably going to be like the last step. Uh, one thing I can do right now, though, is actually peel back some of the rubber off of this LED strip. Okay, we're back, and I bought the Dremel. Um, so that is not going to be thick enough for the barrel jack. I'm hoping I can use this and just wiggle it around in the hole a bit. So yeah, that hole is just about the perfect size for that jack to fit through now. I'm going to use the Stanley knife and just remove some of the actual tape that we left there. So that's just the bare plastic now, and we can put that down. Hot glue time. Here we go, same tape from earlier. Uh, I'm just gonna get two little pieces of that, and we can flip the PCB over. There we go, okay. I'm uh, just going to tuck that under there a little bit, make sure we've got plenty of room, make sure the IR receiver is through a transparent-ish part. Press that down on the acrylic. Nice. I'll throw a little bit of a different view. Trim all these down first off. Uh, the excess of this I'm just going to wrap up out of the way, should be fine. Confession to make. I peeled off the uh, the stuff off camera. You know, I'm, I'm not even sorry. It was amazing. So yeah, the next up now is putting this uh, white acrylic on the back. Uh, one thing I want to test out just before we do this though, I read online today that you can use uh, cyanoacrylate glue to bond rubber. Or it's probably one of the easier things to bond rubber with rather than uh, like an actual rubber bonding thing, which I don't have. So I'm going to give that a try on the back side first. If it works well, I might also try it on the front, see if I can get a nice finish for the corners on the front. Now the last thing to do is to attach this acrylic sheet to the back of the x-ray. May use some super glue. I think I'll be able to crack it off again in the future if I need to. Just gonna go with a little bit in there. I think the issue is that the uh, the barrel connector in the corner there is probably a little bit too thick and it's just making things a bit uneven. I just realized we're done. Like, that, that's everything. I mean, I, I could probably do something about the tape in there, but you know what? I'm not going to. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this thing. Uh, green's probably my favorite color on this so far. It's probably the most, uh, most you can actually see the detail and stuff. Again, this is really hard to get it to actually come out properly on the GoPro. Apologies for that. I'll try and take some photos of it and show those as well. Hopefully the photos will be a bit clearer. But yeah, I mean, Got red. Ah, okay, so you do have to be kind of close when you want to change the uh, color. So yeah, probably half a foot to a foot away and it works okay. But yeah, m most of the time I'm probably going to be leaving this on fade. Probably uh, the nicest to look at long term, I guess. Or I could try and match it up to the computer. If we go like, see, like a purplish color. Again, that's, that's really blown out on the camera. But yeah, in real life, you can see a lot of detail and stuff. Hard to get it to show up here. So yeah, I'm really happy with this thing. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me build it. If you have, like, comment and subscribe. Definitely be interested to see what your thoughts are on this. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.